huge cockroaches. Ooh, here we go. I used to be very judgmental. It's happening. The question is when. It's the end of the weekend. But I Exit to merge onto I six ten South. So come on, give me love. I'ma show you how to move, how to move with my body. Come hit me with your touch and make me wanna say, damn. And yeah, you know what's up. Ain't nothing I won't do, I won't do for your body. So give me all you got. Right now I know I'm yours, baby So come give me love You know you're mine, baby So come give me love I never felt nothing quite like it Yo, so I thought I was gonna have to go straight to go pick up me But I have time to actually go home So I'm going home right now Maybe I'm gonna get a little snack because I'm hungry I didn't eat much before I left home I ate green beans and a piece of drumstick it wasn't enough food. I didn't want to be stuffed though because I don't need my stomach protruding. Oh my God. My girl is getting her whole mommy makeover today. I'm so excited for her. I am beyond excited for her. I'm actually, in addition to being excited for her, I'm nauseated because I'm living vicariously through her because I cannot wait. I cannot wait to get my situation together also, baby. Whew, girl, anyway. So yeah, I'm about to go change, put my stuff inside. I only had three looks today, which is really short and sweet. I'm going to put my stuff inside, change, and then put on... No, that's part of changing, excuse me. <laughs> put my stuff inside, change, and get a snack, and then get back on the car and go pick any up from school. And Look at this dewy look from today. Hi. <laughs> okay, now I'm inside. Before the comments start, and excuse me, this is a two-piece situation from Pretty Little Thing. I'll link it below. It's one of the looks that I shot today. Before the comments start coming, I just want to say this respectfully. I'm a firm believer. I used to be very judgmental. I used to be very judgmental about everything and everyone, especially if someone had cosmetic surgery done. However, when you become a mom, you understand things a little bit differently. So I want to just say this. When it comes to someone's desire for weight loss or cosmetic surgery, I think it's very important that everyone respect that person's wishes. And if you perhaps are opposed to that, not amenable to such an activity. I want to I want to just remind people that it's okay to it's okay to disagree with someone's personal choice and not tell them. Like it's okay for me to follow someone who lives a certain way. I might like some things that they do and I don't like other things that they do, but in general, I like the person. I think they're pretty cool, so I follow them anyway. It's okay to do that and to feel that way, but not, not but, and it's okay to do that and not tell the person, hey, I wish you would stop trying to lose weight because you look great. I like how you look. You look fine. The person didn't ask. 
Not that that has happened to me because I have a lot of words blocked anyway. But, you know, people do that on the internet. Oh, but you look fine. Why do you want to lose weight? You look fine. I didn't ask. The person did not ask. If the person came on their social media and said, hey, y'all, what do you think about how I look? Should I lose weight? Okay. In that case, give your advice. But, what do you think about saying this, saying this, say? And yeah, mommy, you have to just reserve your comments. You know what I'm saying? The comment is then, at that point, unsolicited. And I, what I'm trying to get across is I really want to emphasize or just refresh the memory of those watching that advice or comments, more so like comments, that are unsolicited about someone's appearance are not always good to, to write. Not always good to share on the internet. Again, it hasn't happened to me, and if it has, I have those kind of things blocked anyway. But I'm just saying, because I mentioned cosmetic surgery, it's happening. The question is when. And when it does happen, I'm going to share because I'm not hiding it's my money, my body. You know, I'm going to share it. And it just, it's, it's going to be what it's going to be. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be what it's going to be. That's all. Oh my goodness, this Bath & Body Sale stuff is so intense. First of all, we had to wait online. I waited online for an hour and it had a whole countdown, which was cool. And now that we are here, we are in a virtual line. Jesus. So whenever you entered the virtual waiting room, that was your place in line. I can't believe that. So I have to wait. What? What does it mean? I-10 West towards San Antonio. I know you feel the same. So come on, give me love. I'ma show you how to move, how to move with my body. Come hit me with your touch and make me wanna say, damn. And yeah, you know what's up. Ain't nothing I won't do, I won't do for your body. So give me all you got right now. I know I'm yours, baby. So come give me love. All right, girl, I'm here in San Antonio. It wasn't bad. And I would travel for work. I would travel to a certain state, drive. I mean, even when I was young and single living in Houston, I used to drive to Dallas all the time. That's three and a half, four hours drive sometimes. So I'm used to driving. It's been a while since I've done it. But this was really a breeze. You just drive 200 miles going straight and then you make a few turns and here you are. I've been to San... Oh, I thought someone hit my car. Oh my God. I've been to San Antonio a few times. So going to the Riverwalk is not something that appeals to me. Although I think my hotel is going to be next to the Riverwalk. I don't know. I'm not going to go, though. This is really just in and out for me, honestly. I'm coming here to get my, my brows bladed. I've been following this particular people, these people, for years. And every single microblade session that they do is pristine. Their work is pristine. And I always said to myself, yo, when I'm ready to get my microblade in, because I was back and forth. I didn't know. I didn't feel like it. I, I didn't want to look all stupid. I didn't, I didn't want to have to be down for a week and all this stuff. But they do such a great job. And I finally decided, what are we doing? I finally decided to just get it done. So I said, I'm going to come. I'm going to come in San Antonio. If I had a daytime appointment, I would have done an in and out job. But my appointment's at five and it's three hours. And I don't want to drive home at night for two and, two and a half hours all sleepy. It's just not worth it. Not worth the risk. Oh, this is cute. This little downtown area with the with the scooter things. I'm going to do that. So I'm going to stay overnight and then go home in the morning early. It's really in and out. Nothing too cute. Nothing fancy. Nothing, nothing. I'm just in and out. You know what I'm saying? So, oh, I'm staying in a nice little cute area. Oh, I can, like, walk and go find something to eat. I could use that little scooter, too. It's 1.30. My appointment is at 5.00. So I have time. I'm sleepy though. I might just order some food inside the hotel and go to sleep. I mean, it's worth it. It's like if you're gonna get cosmetic surgery and you know that there's a certain surgeon who is in whatever area of the of the of the U.S., you know you've been following lots of people and you just see different issues. And then with this person, you haven't ever found a problem. You're like, when I'm ready to get my surgery, I'm going to this person. That's how I feel. So here I am, and it's a cute little overnight getaway. Not really. Yeah. Alright now, obviously I don't need this big old suitcase for one night, but 
I didn't feel like having to take things out, put it in a small bag, then come back and do all this. So I just left it because it's just me. I'll be back home tomorrow. It's not a big deal. It's the end of the weekend, but I still. I just opened up the blind because I'm like, what in the world? Why is this place so dark? Okay, it's cute. It's a little sweet. You got a little refrigerator, kitchenette. Refrigerator. I'm so annoyed. You got a little kitchenette going on. That's cute. And here is the room. This paint is looking real weird, but that's okay. Y'all know. We're not here for luxury. We're just here for one night. This bathroom is very nice. This lighting is off. <laughs> it's giving very orange. All right. I'm going to see what's going on on Instacart. This fan is loud. Okay, so they have this extra table that was hidden underneath the desk, which is great because I don't put my suitcase on the floor unless I have no choice. But my suitcase when I travel goes up because, you know, I've been in hotels when I used to work and travel for work before social media. And yo, this huge cockroaches, huge cockroaches. I don't know what you call them, but if they're this big, it looks like a rat to me, okay? So I tried to put my suitcases up. What's the point? You see what I'm saying? I put them out on the floor at home, but not uh, in public. This thing is mad heavy for no reason. Ugh. Because the thing is, is because I keep my suitcase packed to make it easier when I'm going somewhere, my suitcase, half, you know how you can zip up one half and then the other half you clamp? One half of my suitcase stays the way it is. I don't touch it. And that part's pretty heavy. That has my, you saw my packing video when I was going to Puerto Rico, if not when you watch it, San Juan. On that one side of my suitcase, I have my makeup and my skincare. I've got tech, like chargers and things, extra batteries. I've got my toiletry bag, which is one of those zip up things you can open up and hang in the bathroom. It's got all your toiletry body products. Then I also have my pajamas, my house room slippers, sponge, just what else, what else, what else? Some uh, travel medicine, you know, like just stuff, hand sanitizers, masks, whatever. It's all on one side of the suitcase. That suitcase, that side is pretty heavy. Then the other side of my suitcase stays empty. And then I have my empty travel pouches, organizers. And then in those is where I put the actual outfits and shoes that I plan on taking when I travel. So half of my suitcase right now is mad heavy compared to the other half because in the other half I have one outfit for tomorrow and that's it. <laughs> so the suitcase is off balance, but it doesn't matter. That's why I didn't want to take things out because it's just no point. And I keep it like that. And that's how I stay 80% packed because then when I got somewhere to go, all it is is what outfits am I taking, medicine, like my allergy medicine I take every day, my acid reducer, and that's it. If I'm taking my laptop and stuff, then that's going to go in my purse that I'm going to carry and that kind of thing. So that's why the suitcase is heavy here. This is my everywhere I go suitcase, okay? That just keeps me organized. So when I have somewhere to go, it's quick. Like last, earlier this year when we had the winter storm, take these shoes off. And then I, I know I'm going barefoot in the hotel, huh? Interesting. But earlier this year we had a winter storm and we woke up to freezing temperatures and quickly scrambled to get out of the house. It was easy because I already had my suitcase halfway packed. So all I had to do was throw in some sweats, suits, and shirts, and I just put it in and then, you know, get in these stuff and we were done. I didn't have to now be all like, oh, we need a toothbrush, we need toothpaste, we need this, do it right, do we have lotion, do we have, no, everything, body wash, lotion, anything, extra glasses, contact solution, contact case, Q-tips, like everything you can think of is in here already. And then when I come back from a trip, I replenish what's missing and then I'm just done. So that next time, I don't have much to do. Look, everything, my robe, all of it is on this side. All of it is on this one side. So there's nothing to do. So for instance, so this is the side that I'm talking about and it's so full that I cannot close it all the way. I just shoved this robe into here yesterday and I put another lotion in here because the lotion I had at Legoland I feel like was almost done I'm not sure I put this Caudalie lotion in here body body moisturizer body cream excuse me but yeah this side is already full and zipped up these are my house slippers 
this is my sponge my stuff was dry always bathe with that no other option and then I have an expandable laundry bag because I'm just that kind of person if I'm somewhere and I'm gonna be hand washing stuff or whatever if I'm gonna be here for a while I'm gonna open this up I'm gonna put my stuff in there and call it a night oh and I also have powdered laundry detergent because you know me I hand wash okay we're from Ghana we we're just hand wash it and call it a night so let me just give you a visual of what I was just explaining to you this is my makeup and skincare it's like makeup and then night and morning skincare some like nighttime stuff in here my toiletries are here some medicine and just random knickknacks like I told you medicine and masks and like whatever sanitizers all kind of things and then this is like I think hair stuff I just keep it I don't touch this side at all you want to be an organized traveler do this have a section that you just don't touch and I like this hard shell suitcase because they throw it around bang it do all kind of stuff and this thing is resilient it has a little bit of scratches but mm -mm, it's not gonna be looking real dumb like the cloth suitcases you know sometimes it rains outside and your suitcase gets wet never had an issue with this I'll link this below too if you like it I just want to wash my hands because, you know, I like to have a habit of when I get in somewhere, when I get home from somewhere, or obviously here in a hotel, let me just go ahead and wash my hands because, like, hello, germs. So there's that. Now what am I going to eat? I need to find something. I am not the type to like, oh, let's go walk around and see. No, I'm not walking around anywhere. Uh -huh, I'm about to order some. What time is it? Because I also don't want to put my outside, but I have to have clothes on to go downstairs. I'm going to say, I don't, don't want to put my outside clothes on the bed. But I need to have clothes on to go downstairs to get my food. But I also want to relax right now. So like, I, that means I can't change. Like, let me just sit here. Let me just sit here on this chair. Yo, so as wild as these things are, if you were to ever ride them, the birds, they're so fun. I would do it, but it's not by myself. I don't feel like it. Say hello and goodbye to my brows as they are right now. I don't know how it's gonna happen on here. I don't know if she gonna he or she gonna draw them. I'm gonna draw them. We gonna draw them together. I don't know how it's gonna, it's gonna come up, but I'm excited. I'm excited to finally be able to do my makeup a lot faster and just look a little different. So. So this is just the outline. It's not gonna look like this. At least I don't, I hope it's not. <laughs> the lighting is not good. Hello, brows. All right, good morning, it's Sunday, okay? Two days after, can you see? Two days after me getting my brows done. I love them. I was concerned about getting this done, obviously, if you've been here for a while, you know that. But I love how these look. I love waking up with brows. Today my girlfriend was like, do you have makeup? And I was like, no, it just looks like I do because my brows are done. Now granted, these glasses are also giving the girls something. I love these glasses too, but I am loving the way my face looks with eyebrows. Wowzers. I still want to give the, the, the false individual, lash, bleh, individual lashes a chance, but I do when I don't. 
I do and I don't. So I guess I'll give it a try. And if I hate it, I'll go get them taken out. So I'm excited about that. And I also realized yesterday that I made a middle, I made a mistake. I put my hair in a bun just for ease on for Friday, but failed to realize that this is normally a three day style. My scalp gets itchy, my hair gets crusty looking and I want to take it out. Well, I cannot get my lashes, my brows wet until next Saturday. So with that said, the problem is I can't, I, washing my hair is going to be a risk so i went on amazon and i found these this visor that sticks to your forehead that people use for eyelid surgery lashes false lashes and for brows and i wanted to buy it but it comes in a pack of 50. i don't need 50 of those granted i do have to do a touch-up of these so i wasn't sure i didn't buy it <laughs> Uh, but I'm like, dang, I want to wash my hair. So I wash my hair and then shower like this, and then it, it wets, right? So it's just the splashes that I cannot risk on my brows. So I don't know. And I'm sitting here like, well, maybe I just won't wash my hair till Friday or Saturday. But actually, I have a hair appointment on Friday, which by that time, it'll be fine. And I'll just tell them, be careful with the brows. But I'm just a little bit like, dang, man, I just, I didn't think about that part, not being able to wash my hair. Maybe I'll just have to deal. Today's Sunday. My scalp does feel dry, but maybe I'll just have to deal. Whatever. Okay. Vlog is ready. I finished it yesterday and uploaded, uploaded it already. So I just need to set the different, like set all the complete checks complete no issues found fantastic i love having this big computer i had a 21 before for six years and now i have the 27 huge difference with the 27 i love it it's big it's big i like to be able to see things in a big way so that is fun let me do my end screen got my coffee right now i plan on taking it low today i love my nails and I just, I have a lot of fun with the press-ons. Hello. I love my nails, but I really want to put on some short ones. Not these medium ones. I want to just put on short nails right now because I'm feeling overwhelmed. And when I feel overwhelmed, I can't have long nails on. We'll see what I end up doing, okay? But right now, that's how I'm feeling about it. Let me set my monetization, hello, because I don't work for free. Ooh, okay. It did it, it did it for me automatically. <laughs> but yeah, I don't work for free. I'm not sure I know anyone that does. I'm feeling overwhelmed and I just want to be able to type without typing like this. I, that's just how I feel. I need to do my toes all over again. I need to do my gel on my toes again. When did I do these? I did these maybe two weeks ago. I don't know. It's growing out and they just don't look amazing. And since I do them myself, why not why not keep them amazing at all times? I'm not having to wait to go to a salon. So <clears throat> I'm gonna do that this morning. I'm gonna put on a video and I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Lighting a candle. I'm lighting Veluspa Goji spiced goji tobacco orange. This candle smells really good. It's a small one. And then I have a peppermint hot shot next to it. It's not being lit right now, obviously, because I'm going through this small one first, but I've got this peppermint white chocolate. I'm telling you, wow, I never used to buy scents like this, but I love that. And then of course I have that one up there. I'm just a candle lady, okay? Whole entire candle lady. Like for real. Where are you? Where are you? Don't hide away from me when I need you most. We got love guaranteed, and I have to know. Say, where are you? Where are you? Don't be so hard to reach. Just pick up your phone. Tell me where you'll be, cause I gotta know. Let me know when you're ready. Cause I made reservations Too many invitations And the last night was heavy. heavy I need communication Tell me where's your location 
used to talk 24-7 every other second just to make sure we were Yo, so this table's from Ikea, and obviously it's white, but I've had it for a very long time, and the whiteness was just dingy looking. So years ago, I adhered this contact paper to it, but now this is very dingy looking, and who has time to peel this off? And Ikea is far enough, like, want to get a new one, and they might not even have it in stock. So I bought another contact paper. This is a white glossy one from Amazon. I'll link it. And I'm going to put this on it to basically refinish the top of the table. Let's do that now. Oh my god, this looks so bad. First of all, you have bubbles. I hate that. Aesthetically, that'll annoy me. And then what I bought isn't going to fit the whole table. So I just looked on Ikea and found the table again. They have it. It's called a different name. I can't find the exact table. This is Linman. The table is called Linman. The legs are called Adeals. I found the legs, obviously. I can't find the Linman anymore. I found a different table with a different name. It looks like it's going to be more narrow. And they have it three inches shorter, which is not going to work for me. And then they have it a lot bigger. I got the bigger one because what I'm going, to, what I'm getting with it is going to be the Alex drawers on the left and right, as opposed to these Adeals legs. I've had this for maybe six years. So basically, these drawers right here are going to be the shorter versions i do need storage so i'm going to end up giving away that and then the whole entire table right because i don't need yeah the top is just not gonna work for me i'm not going to oppose her like i thought i just don't have the time i hate the imperfections that's gonna annoy me the table's old anyway it needs to go it works it's just i'm not about to be i thought i could i thought i was gonna be able to swing it with the upholstery the, the contact paper no no, no. So now I've got myself a job to do that I wasn't expecting, but I'm going to do it today and tomorrow. Just put my new desk together. Wow. Here we go. Yo, yo. Good morning. Let me turn this off because it's giving a weird glare. Good morning. What up? Listen, so yesterday I started putting together one of the Alex drawers and I had to stop because my electric drill died the battery on the electric drill died so that is charging day what is we on today's monday day three of microblading here we are <clears throat> it doesn't feel like anything mind you by the way every now and then i want to i feel itchy and i go touch i'm like oh i forgot it's microblading so other than that i feel absolutely nothing okay the battery was charging overnight. I'm sure it's fine now. I got my Forever Mood candles and I forgot I even bought them. <laughs> They're in. Yeah, and I have my sports bra on and mine to my, what else? That's my uniform. Okay, so here's the battery. It was charging in the garage. Ooh, I feel like I'm large and in charge, okay? Ooh, here we go. Don't mess with me, all right? So this is a DeWalt 20 volt max. Y'all be doing some, I almost wanted to say construction, I'm so annoyed. Y'all be doing some work and stuff at home. This is a good one. My husband bought it, obviously. I like it a lot. You know what I'm saying? These are interchangeable. Girl, don't ask me. I'm not a tool woman, but I get things done, okay? It goes one way, push it this way, it goes the other way, all right? So let's continue on with this project. being too rough trying to get this out my finger stuck into the wax <laughs> you can't really see it though wow wow this smells like what this smells like cake cinnamon roll oh my god this is amazing you up it's called you up wow this smells good are you kidding me that is insane it smells like cake icing Definitely. Oh, I bought one and then I got two free samples. Is that what happened? Okay. Oh, naughty and nice. Hi, and fine and pine. I have two forever mood packages, actually. Let's smell fine pine. Ooh. Yeah, it smells like pine. Nothing exciting about that. I love it. I like it, but it's not like making me, it's not like jumping my bones. Hold on. Oh, I like this one. This one is musky. 
Naughty and Nice is musk. Oh, it has Australian sandalwood, cedarwood, papyrus, papyrus. Ooh, cypress. This is very, uh, you can't even see it. If you smell Fenty's fragrance, you know what I mean. Wow and wow. Naughty and Nice is fantastic. I'm going to burn fine pine first because I'm not like over the moon about it. It's good, but it's okay. And I'm going to hold on to Naughty and Nice. Oh my God. Oh, it smells like a body fragrance. Wow. Ooh, yes. Yo, here's Matcha Business. Oh, Matcha Business is so good. Comment below and let me know if you like any of these candles. If so, which of them are your favorite? Because Matcha is definitely, my sister is on to Matcha now too. God almighty, God almighty. It's the hazelnut. Oh, I'm showing it to you as if you can smell it, but you can't. And that's just so sad because, you know, I love my coffee. Just checking to make sure nothing's broken. Yep, this looks good. I got two matcha businesses and two gingerbread trap houses because, yo, I got the small gingerbread trap house in my Sephora haul when they had the holiday savings event. You saw that? Or did you see that? Oh, that video ain't even out yet. Girl. Okay, first of all, oh my God, so much. So I was supposed to do Vlogmas and just had a huge headache with my editing. I'm not going to go into it too much, but it just, it messed me up. It messed me up. So now, obviously, I'm not doing Vlogmas. I'm doing my usual uploads. Next year, I'm going to tackle Vlogmas, though. It is definitely on my list. It was on my list. It just, I feel like I got screwed over, but... That's neither here nor there. Okay, so I ordered a bigger version of the gingerbread trap house, which is, it was really small and it was red. Yeah, you, it's, it smells like cake here. It's not doing a lot in the sniff, but when it burns, ooh, baby. That's what I had in my bathroom. It's, is it done now? Or is it almost done? Yo, I, okay, so you know I, I burned the bath and body first because them are the, the value the value sizes, the value prices, you know what I'm saying? And then when it comes to forever mood, the luxury prices, I burn those later on. <laughs> you ain't gonna be burning right now. We don't do that. You gotta wait, you know what I'm saying? Yo, look at this progress. Oh my God, so much work going on. I decided to actually keep my old table it just is what it is. I'm going to return the one I got. But we're making progress. This place is a mess. I just can't wait for it to be finished. Yo, so I've had this table for, what, six, more than, I don't know, a very long time, six years-ish. And apparently there's a dip in the middle of the table. The table isn't flat. So we have this. Oh, my gosh. On both sides. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to deal with that. Not only that, this doesn't come with any sort of rubber thing to keep the table from moving. Y'all have your, cause this is the way a lot of influencers set up their Ikea table. The table just moves? Like it's not even gonna just stay still? My God, I mean, I like how it looks now. And I'm, I'm definitely going to get use out of this storage space. But, yo, it just moves. I, I oh. Okay, the moving isn't my biggest problem. And I don't feel like waiting for an Amazon delivery of those rubber things to keep it still. I, whatever. I want to clean this up right now because it's bothering me. But the fact that it's not... It's not flat. Oh my gosh. That I don't know how I'm gonna deal with that. Come all ye faithful, joyful.